Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Moving on, Illinois is the next team that we are going to be breaking down. <sighs> RC, what does Daddy Brad need from Santa Claus on Christmas morning? I think he needs another dude besides Turn Shanna. I, I wish I could just give him another guy that he could consistently count on besides Turn Shannon. I, I just think they need one more guy. I would like a, a guard, you can pull one out of a hat, just saying a guy that's a little bit more dynamic with the ball in his hands. Uh, maybe with Sky Clark or somebody like that would have been. Uh, I, I would like to have added a guy like that for Illinois. Then I think their ceiling would be so much higher than it is now. I would, Yeah, I was going to say, you mean like a Sky Clark? You mean like a Jay Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. maybe if they weren't outbid for Ray J. Dennis by Baylor, something like that, would that be one of the guys that you'd be looking for? Maybe like, what kind of guys? a point guard no. on that roster. <laughs> T.O., are you telling me that Ty Rogers isn't a star point guard for a team that could make a yeah, final four? Was, no, I, I, I thought he was an undersized four for a long time. We were watching him play. <laughs> I really did. We were beat Peach Jam. I was like, man, this, like, this guy's a hell of a three, four, small ball four. Like he is going to be awesome. He's playing the point for Illinois. Uh, I'm going to get him some prescription eyeglasses. And the only reason is that is Terrence Shannon shooting 41%. Luke Good shooting 46%. Outside of those two guys, Gibbs Lawhorn, 3 of 17 on the year. Marcus Domask had that great game at MSG. He's shooting 23% on the season. Coleman Hawkins, 7 of 30, 23%. Uh, Quincy Garrier, 23%. I don't know what it is about the number 23 in the uh, Illinois team, but it, it's, it's prevalent. It's prevalent. They got to have more guys hit shots. And I they, they look, they have two guys that can knock them through, and I, they're going to defend under Brad. And they're still managing, even with outside of those two guys hitting shots, you just got to be serviceable, mid to mid 30s. They, they haven't been able to be that, and they're still eight and two. If they shoot it a little bit better, uh, they beat Tennessee. They, they're, they're closer to Marquette. Uh, outside of that, I, I'm not going to complain too much. I, I like this Illinois team. There's talent. I was worried about point guard play. They've eased my mind there. I mean, they're a top 30 offense and a top 15 defense. But if they shoot the ball better, uh, they get to set their defense. And if they're able to set their defense, they're really tough to score on. So get into my glasses, especially for the two guys not named Terrence Shannon and Luke Good. Yeah, I think um, since giving them one of those three point guards we mentioned earlier is not something that is realistic, uh, or as uh, RC would say, it's not something that's going to be possible right now, um, I do think that the key – to them is getting a level of consistency from Marcus Domask that we have not seen yet, right? They don't need him to be the guy that goes for 33 on 15 to 21 shooting every, every single night, but they do need him to be like a 15 to 17 point per game guy. And we've seen him do that enough times this year for me to sit here and say, okay, yeah, I think that that's something that is repeatable. Um, because if you don't have a point guard, basically what uh, Illinois wants to do is kind of win a lot of these matchups playing one-on-one. -on -one and hoping that that's going to be enough for you. Uh, and if you only have one guy that can do that uh, or is doing it consistently, that kind of limits what I think your ceiling is. So they need a second guy. And I think that Marcus Domask is that guy if he can find a level of consistency so that, you know, the six points he had against Tennessee and the 33 that he had against Florida Atlantic, just find, like, the happy medium there. You know, give me, like, 14 points every single night on, like, 6 of 12 shooting. That's all you need to do. Just do that, and I think uh, Illinois is going to end up being pretty good this year. Thank you for watching The Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.